how to master slope in three easy steps. Step one, don't try to memorize the equation. Write down the equation for slope every time you solve a problem. In doing this, you, you in a way trick your mind into memorizing the equation even though you're not trying. So it's a psychological trick that is very effective. You just have to solve enough problems until you memorize the equation without looking at it anymore. Number two, work methodically. These problems are harder than they look. Slope problems appear to be very easy, but they can be very tricky, especially when you have negative signs involved. So my suggestion would be slow down a little bit when you do slope problems, and your results will be a lot better. Number three, solve problems until you know the equation by heart. Just as I covered in number one, keep solving problems. Just write down the equation every time and keep solving problems until you know this equation. When the test comes, you'll be able to show what you know at that point. Your grades will reflect it. Let's take a look at an example. First thing we do, we write down the equation. Slope m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. The symbol for slope is m. So we want to find the slope of the line that connects these two points, 1 comma 3 and 5 comma 8. So the slope, let's label the points x1, y1 x2, y2. So m equals y2, which is 8, y1, 3, all over x2, which is 5, x1, which is 1. So m equals 8 minus 3, 5, 5 minus 1, 4. So the slope m equals 5 over 4. Let's look at another example. We want to find the slope that connects the following two points, negative 8, comma 6, and 1, comma 7. The formula for slope is slope m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Label the x1, the y1, x2, the y2. So we plug them in. m equals y2, which is 7, minus y1, which is 6, over x2, which is 1, and x1, so minus 8. So the slope equals 1 over 1 minus minus 8 is just 1 plus 8 equals 1 over 9. It doesn't matter which it doesn't matter which way you order the points. If we look at another example, take these same points, 1 comma 7 and negative 8 comma 6 and rearrange them. So the slope m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So m equals we can label it x1 y1 x2 y2. So m equals y2, which is 6. We slow down a little bit here. y1 minus y1, which is 7, all over x2, a negative 8, minus x1, which is just 1. m equals 6 minus 6 plus a negative 7 is a negative 1. Negative 8 plus a negative 1 is a negative 9. Now I'm calling this a negative 1. Once that negative sign gets in front of it, it's now a negative number. It's no longer subtraction. A negative divided by a negative is a positive. So we have, again, a positive 1 over 9. You rearrange those points and you come up with the same answer. The slope is just a tilt of the line. If you take something and tilt it, you take anything, a book, and tilt it, the more you tilt it, the bigger the slope. If you look at a hill, the higher the hill, the bigger the slope. On flat ground, there's no slope. It's zero. It's just a flat, it's just a flat surface. Another tip when it comes to basic algebra, when you multiply in integers, you have a negative times a negative. That's going to equal a positive. When you have an even amount of negatives, it's going to be a positive. When you have an odd amount, 1 times 1, 1 times a negative 1 times a negative 1, then it's going to be a negative. So that's a trick that may help you understand how these negative signs work when you deal with integers. This works with multiplication and division. So those are the three steps you need to know to master slope. If this video was helpful to you in any way, please take a few moments to support the channel. Like, subscribe, share. Please leave your questions and comments below. I want to know how this works for you. And as always, have a nice day.